Welcome to a Blood and Pigment live battle. Today we have a special scenario where we will be have we will have the pirates in a six rate uh, frigate against the Spanish Armada de Bonavento in a galleon. Biggest ships in the game. They are. I am Guy, and I am joined by Joseph, and we are from Blood and Pigment. Uh, it's really exciting to have these two ships on the table like this. You know, we're going to have six rate for a while. It's awesome. Four months. <laughs> it took me like a year to do the galley. It's a big project, aren't they? They are. They're, they're kind of exhausting with how much uh, space there is on the ship. It's awesome. Though. The scenario we are doing today is going to be the approaching storm. Special scenario by yourself, right? Yes, I was a block of uh, new scenarios that I put on uh, the uh, blog. That's uh, five new scenarios that are all sea-based for Blood and Plunder uh, with some special rules. So really it's 20 new scenarios in there with the different variations and options that you can have. The scenario we're doing is The Worsening Storm, a special scenario where as the game goes on, the weather constantly gets plus one, uh, all the way up to a plus three, which uh, usually doesn't happen in a game. Yeah, if you draw events, they're rarely weather, and if they are weather, it's just maybe one weather event. So having forcing them to get to the extreme edges, edges of the weather table is unusual and exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sounds exciting. This is actually based on a uh, game type that uh, Joseph and I did a long time ago, where we just wanted to randomly roll uh, every turn on the weather table. But the problem when we did that is it would ping pong back and forth between no weather and sunny weather. <laughs> so yeah, just like they go up as down, so they just kept canceling each other out the whole game. Yeah. So that's why this one, it's ever on the end, the end of the first turn, third turn, and fifth turn, the weather gets plus one all the way up to plus three, which means we only spend the sixth turn at the most extreme of the weather. But that's good because we're playing two optional rules this time uh, it, at, that's our part of the worsening storm. The first one is called derecho which is a fast-moving uh, thunderhead that's uh, in usually in the uh, Southwest American and Caribbean. Um, and the derecho makes us use the tropical weather chart. So we're going to have a torrential downpour happen right. on the sixth that's turn. Fine. And it also makes it so at the beginning of each turn, before we, uh, or after drawing our hand, but... Uh, before playing anything, we'll each roll on the weather chart. Wind chart? Or, yeah, the wind chart. And then, but we do not apply the results until the end of that turn. So our sailors can feel the wind changing so we can plan for it. We can see it. Have you, there's, <laughs> there's videos of direct shows moving and it's, it's just like a coming, it's, it's, it is a worsening storm because you just see it coming. So, it, and we're also playing with the other optional rule. This, uh, the Worsening Storm scenario has three optional rules. Two of them you can't play with each other because it's Nor'easter and Derecho. They can only be... You can't have a Derecho and a, a Nor'easter at the same time. Two different kinds of storms. Yeah, two different type of weather patterns. <laughs> but the one we're playing is a Thunderhead because usually Derechos are a fast-moving thundercloud. It's probably not going to happen. But in the uh, event that we both play the same activation card... So we would have to each play a... 13 of spades. A 13 of spades. <laughs> and then, on the dice we roll to see who goes first, if one of us roll a 10, then the person who rolled the 10, they get to go first. But lightning strikes their tallest mast of their, of their flagship. Pulverizes it. And it's, the lightning is a 12 dice cannon attack that hits on threes and any lucky hits cause a fire instead of the normal result, but you roll criticals as normal. 12 uh, dice, oh my. 12 dice that hit on threes. <laughs> I think I, I looked. Um, not a lot of uh, ships got struck by lightning during battles, so 
It should be... Lightning shouldn't happen a lot. <laughs> well, let's begin by rolling for our derecho. Um, you want to go over our forces real quick first? Or oh, yeah, yeah, we should. Uh, we already rolled start. for attacker, and I'm the attacker being the armada. I had a plus four, and the pirates had a zero bonus, so it's natural that I'm the attacker, but in this scenario, it doesn't really much matter because the wind is at our back when we're deployed to parallel, right? Well, it did matter because I lost my ability. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was very <laughs> happy about that. No false colors here. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to go over your force first here? Of course. Um, I am playing uh, pirates. I'm led by a sea commander in my six rate, and my six rate is armed with nothing but light cannons. But I have every port on my ship stuffed with light cannons, which means I have 11, uh, uh, 11 light cannon broadside, along with two chasers in the front and two chasers in the back. They're also light cannons. In the uh, forecastle, I have 12 marines without pistols. These marines have a grizzled veteran with them, and there are two swivel guns on that deck that they're assigned to as well. And then on my main deck, I have 16 marines. Oh my. These marines also do not have a pistol. This is going to be a theme. <laughs> uh, they, are, they are joined by my commander, and my commander has a musician and a standard bearer with him. On the same deck, I have 12 pressed men that are currently prone that have a sailing master with them. And then on my quarter deck, I have 12 marines with a master gunner. They are on this deck because this is the deck that has four light cannons. Right. So might as well have the best chance with Master Gunner on the deck that has four cannons. And on the same deck, there are eight pressed men who are prone. And those eight pressed men have a Son of Neptune with them. So I kind of, uh, I co-opted as pirates um, the crew of another ship to work for me <laughs> as my sailing crew. <clears throat> and on the uh, poop deck way back here, I have 11 marines assigned to two cannons and the chaser. And there are no characters in that group. So how many men total is that? That sounds like a lot. I have 72. Oh my goodness. 72 men. My strike point total is at 18. And you have how many characters again? I have six totals. And two of them are with the command group. Yeah, two are with the command group. Awesome. Um, mine is... A little less complex, but uh, this many points. 250 points, by the way. I don't think you mentioned that yet. Mm -hmm. I have a group of um, 12, 10 Marineros Pequeros on the front. They're strong because they have a good save, and they're on four swivel guns. And then I have, I'm using the gun decks in the Galleon, which is an option. They get to be below deck, which gives them a better save. But I put them on the deck just for visual purposes so I can see them, and so my poor Galleon didn't look deserted. But for rules sake, it'll be in the gun decks. I think I need to go turn my kids off. <laughs> <laughs> so I got uh, uh, 11 marineros in the f- gun deck in the front deck, and then the middle deck, or the main deck, I have 12 marineros with a master gunner. They're in the gun deck, so technically the main deck is empty above uh, board. And then the third deck, I got my commander in the gun deck with 11 marineros. And then um, another seven marineros with a sailing master up on top. And then the very back deck, I just have seven um, Zeliden with a carpenter. So I have a couple different expert sailors and a carpenter and three, uh, two unassigned units to help with repairs, which I'm anticipating, and sailing actions. Mm-hmm. And my commander is a historical commander, Francisco de Peralta. And he is awesome because he replaces Ruthless on all the Spanish units with Tough. So all but the Zelayden are tough. Ruthless doesn't help any cannons, so it's a net gain. Mm -hmm. He also has very inspiring, so my my valleys will be extra potent and broadside resilient, so I will not quit. (laughs) (laughs) Now let's let's talk about um, something you mentioned, our point value of 350 points is, uh, it seemed like a random point value, but with our club, we actually have our 
350 point ship challenge that we came up uh i think uh brian and and i and it's kind of we talked among the everybody else uh the 350 point challenge is a number we came at for a ship battle because at the time we were using light frigate and it was where you can get a lot for a light frigate but not everything <laughs> right you had to make a few hard choices still but you could fully arm it with cannons, you could fully arm it with um, crew for the cannons, and have a little bit left over for crew, but you couldn't really, like, trick it out. And we've moved it onto the galleon and the, the larger ship, because at 350 points, it seems right for these ships, where you can, you can arm them, but you still have to make a lot of hard choices. So you can focus on basically one thing, you can't do everything. Yeah. So these are basically cannon ships. We have no small arms at all. All of mine have no pistols. All of yours have no pistols. The pike is the scariest yeah. <laughs> small arm in this battle. <laughs> the pikes and the swivels. The swivel guns, yeah. yeah, but swivels are artillery as well. So so this is really set out to be a, uh, a cannon duel. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Well, let's start uh, by doing our drencho roll. So we're both going to roll on the weather table, which we applied at the beginning of the next turn because we can see the storm coming. Yeah, and to make it so we don't forget, we're going to set aside each of the dice that we roll. I roll seven. Seven is a lull. All right. And nine, a player that drew this gets to pick a wind event. Ooh, now we didn't we didn't decide that I have to pick, choose it now or later. I think later. I think later. I think later. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should pick it now because that's the whole point. We can see the wind coming. Right? Oh, that's okay, okay. Um, you're doing a lull. I'm going to do a wind speed plus one. You just cancel it out? That was the whole point of rolling oh, twice. Well, <laughs> well, it won't cancel it out for long. <laughs> <laughs> Next turn will be exciting. Yeah. So we basically want to reduce our sail speed at the end of this turn so we aren't ripping our sails apart by next turn. Well, at the end of next turn, we'll want to reduce it. Because it will, that will apply at the oh, beginning yeah. of the second next turn. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be complicated. <clears throat> All right. And then uh, the objectives of this scenario uh, only apply after turn three. We'll talk about them. So the first objective is at turn three, if each of our ships are at its maximum sail setting, then we take a strike point. Uh, because the crew having your, having your sails at maximum sail setting during a storm is bad because there's uh, unusual wind patterns that might rip apart a mast or hurt people on your ship. And then the other one, the uh, other objective, is if either of our ships has a sails or spar or uh, sheets and shroud damage, we take a strike point for those damage markers. Let's control your ship, right? Well, and that's what we're trying to hurt each other's ship and make it less likely to survive the storm. Uh, I didn't mention this scenario also has a rule that we haven't, I don't think I've ever used that I put in there. It uses the random game length rule. Ooh. So the random game length rule means starting turn four, we have to roll a uh, die at the start of turn four and onward to see if the game continues. All right. So the game might end at turn at turn or after at the end of turn three. That'd be crazy. It is unlikely you'd have to roll one on that die, but, <laughs> and that represents because uh, because the storm's coming at at one point, our crews and captains are going to abandon the fight and focus on the survive. Right. Yeah. So that's what that represents. Well, Spanish versus pirates. Good luck. Shall we begin? I got the event. Oh boy. So we're starting starting things off right. <laughs> and we'll use the sea event. Sounds good. Sounds good. Do you have it open? Because I have my I book do. on our weather. Uh, I got a three. That's Rough nice. sea is very dramatic. It is. For this turn and the rest of the game, all ranged attacks with cannon that originate from a ship have a plus one penalty to the initial hit. Wow. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that cancels out the Master Gunner, basically. And, and, and hurts, hurts all the other cans. <laughs> that's exciting. That's a, that's a rule I should have wrote in, but I, I'm glad the game comes out as an event. All right. So 
first activation. Oh, how many units do you have? I have uh, six. Oh, I do yep. too. All right. So we'll have the same number of cards. Nobody can pass. That's good. Club to my heart. Uh, so I will go first. I'm starting to max speed. I assume you are too, but we didn't talk about that. Uh, yes, I am starting at five. Because why not? Alright, I'm just gonna go big and hit the broadside right away. Right away at 24 inches? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna turn one. The wind is at our back, so we don't really need to worry about being windward for a long time. And forward three. And now. Um, so I'm assuming I'm a little less than 24. Yep. 22. I'm going to activate my command unit and do a broadside. All right. Let's pause here for a second. Albatross. James, what's going on? Sounds like you guys are laughing and giggling a lot. I have to tell you a story. It's tough. It's late. You guys need to look at TV, but you cannot keep talking, okay? Oh, that's delicious. No, it's fine. I got some uh, some good videos. Oh, good. Sorry about that. No, no, no. no. <clears throat> All right. Twenty-four. That's plus five. Plus five. So it's to be nines to hit. Nines to do damage well, on a shot. Sixes, sixes. The initial hits are six because of rough, rough seas. Right. Except for your master gunner, you get five. All right. All right. I'm ready to proceed. So let's let's start. All right. It's ill advised, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, a broadside right away. But I'm going to target your mass. Although I'm considering not doing a broadside, I calculated the numbers, and it's going to be pretty tough to do a lot of damage. And it has to do at least six damage to get a critical hit. Is that correct? Yes. Fortitude is four, which would mean nine to hit. So I'm going to shoot off each. 
um, deck individually, so I can get lucky hits if I am lucky. Nice. So where are you starting? I'll use my command unit first. Three dice with three medium cans or a 23 inch range. That would be a five to hit, but now it's a six because of the rough seas, right? Yep. Here we go. Eight and six and one. So I get two hits. So now I get six dice hitting on uh, nine. This is nine. five plus Speed. four fortitude for your rating, right? Yep. One lucky hit. Ooh. Not a great roll, but at least I got the lucky hit. That's just kind of what I wanted. I didn't ask what deck are you going after? Oh, that is important. Oh, Not that main deck. Main deck, okay. Not that uh, you're going to do any damage to my crew. That's right. It takes two hits on a rigging to do one damage on the crew below. And you round down. Want to roll for that lucky hit? Of course. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I get two. Minus one. So it's an eight. Turns into eight sheets and shrouds. Sheets and Shrouds. So Sheets and Shrouds makes it negative one on change sale setting and advanced maneuvers. All right, so I earned myself four reloads there. You're, you're wrecking the rigging that took me all day, did you? <laughs> I, I worked on that today, didn't you? <laughs> I'll complete their activation. This is a heart, so they have two actions. They shoot, they reload one, and then um, that's it. So they have three reloads. Right. I'll just put that on my card here. And that was my third deck here. Now then the middle deck will shoot. They have the Master Gunner. And this is slightly inefficient because I'm going to lose his command. Actually, um, okay, three dice again, hitting on sixes. Actually, fives, because the Master Gunner will compensate for the rough seeds. Nine, six, five. So again... Two hits to one miss. Main deck. Oh, main deck. Two hits, though, this time, right? Same as before. Two hits. Oh, well, two cannons need contact. Okay. Six dice. Oh, another lucky hit. One lucky hit. So one damage again. Because it's not a broadside, though, you don't get... Right. But I get two lucky hits this way, which is what I wanted. Yes. I rolled a two, which is a one, which is a nothing. I could fortune that. I'm gonna fortune. You're going through this early? <laughs> this early. A six, which is a sales as far, so now you're going a little slower. Alright. And the second command point is gonna to go to the front deck. Now they're gonna do the same thing, but they have no master gun, so hit on us. Make contact on a six, shooting at your front deck, because I know I can see that. Alright. That's all misses. Ooh. <laughs> Two fortune in the first turn? Oh, uh, maybe not. Uh. I don't want to get one damage each. I'll just let my cannons go to waste and just plop in the water in front of you. Okay, that's my commander. You know, I brought some thing to help with that. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. <laughs> so I brought two critical hits, that's it. To kill nobody but got your dam a little damage in your reading. I shot all my cannons. Yeah, I move slower now and take more. Uh, it hurts to do maneuvers. I mean, is that it for your turn? That was my heart. Okay. I command you. I'm going to leave the splash markers here a little bit. <laughs> Monument to my Spanish gunnery. Now, neither of us have expert gunners other than the um, master gunner. I was just realizing I used my uh, Zillaiden as a sailing unit, and I really should have used them as a gunner unit. It was a bad choice. Well, I'm sure that's fine. Good for you. It's not going to, it's not going to hurt you yet. So I'm turning one, just like you did, and going to go forward three. Just, like, just you. like you. <laughs> I am going to activate my... I am going to activate 
my um, pressed men that are on my main deck. They are going to stand up. They have two actions. Only oh shoot! Whoa, hold on! We forgot about terror, uh, <laughs> like we usually do. So I have a musician. I forgot to have you roll for terror as we were starting. And I'm eager to uh, roll for terror because I want to show how strong Peralta is by toughing it all off. So here we go from the back of the ship to the front. My Zelidan roll a two, so they take one. And they don't have a tough, so that's unfortunate because they don't have a boots. My command, assignment. my command unit. They roll a one, but they already activated and they didn't push, so they're going to remove that. For dig already. anyways, yeah. And then the uh, marineros on deck, they roll a nine, so they don't take it. Then the marineros and the gun deck and the main deck, they roll a six, they don't take it. Then the marineros and the gun deck in the front, they roll a two, so they take a fatigue. And then the marineros piqueros roll a seven. So I took a total of three fatigue from that, and one is already gone. Nice, man. This is a good time to mention, uh, usually when you forget something in the course of playing game, uh, you want to afterwards just like make it right as much as possible. This happens to us all the time, honestly. There's a lot of things to keep track of. There is, there is. There's far too much in this game sometimes. Alright, so uh, I'm going to have my... You got to shoot, right? <laughs> no, no, I had instead my... I was, I was looking at numbers, it's still over 20 inches. Uh, I had my press men on my main deck stand up. Okay. And okay. they're going to do nothing. I mean, right. The rest of them. Well, I guess I could do a sail setting. Yeah. Nope. They're going to do nothing. They can't repair because it's dedicated, right? Yep. Thirteen of clubs to your four clubs. I'll just use my marineros in the front deck. Actually, I'll do marineros in the main deck. They're gonna reload for three. So now they have one reload left. And then they're gonna use a command point for the master gunner to make the command unit reload because they didn't take the command unit from the initial. Nice. Fire. So now I have one reload in my main deck, and two loads in my third deck, and four reloads in my front deck. Done. And they had no fatigue, so no tough hands. All right. Uh, for me, I'm going to activate my command group. Uh, my, my first command point is going to have the... The... Pressed men, I'm going to order them to repair the sails and spars damage. Right. So I'm looking for a seven. More dramatic when I do this. Eight. Eight. So sails and spars repaired. Uh, and now. Now I can have some fun. Um, I'm going to move my ship four forward. And then turn away from you one. Let's see if I'm a little closer. Two ish, 21 ish still. Under 20 inches there. Oh, under 20. Although we are measuring to the top deck. The top deck? The rail. You measured from the bottom. Well, it's 23, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the galleon's weird because of how the, it's so bulgy at the bottom. Yeah. Oh. And so More than 20. We'll bring it over here and go to the forward deck. 21 inches. 21. So I am going to. I want to shoot these cannons. I have to. I'm going to shoot my light cannons. 
with uh, my commander. I'm going to need three dice on six, and I will also go after your rigging because that sounds fun. And I don't like that heavily built either. So I need sixes. All hit. So I get two dice per. That's one, two, three. And now I need nines because we're going after the uh, sailing, the um, sails. One hit on your sails. That seems to be how it's going, isn't it? Yeah. He has one command point left. He is going to um, reload his cannons by two. Didn't you have somebody do a repair already? Oh, I okay. did. I have one command point left because he's a uh, the experienced dude. So I'm going to have my four guns take a pot shot at yours. So I need two dice on six. One hit, and now I need nine as well. No hits. It's rough seas that hurt. Yeah, it is. I've noticed in uh, ships, uh, games with large ships, the distance looks smaller because the ships are so large. So we're still at fairly long range, even though we look like we're at I know we're over twenty <laughs> inches still. Yeah. So I'm still over 20 inches here at the uh, midship, or I'm um, quarter deck. I'm going to have my quarter deck gun crew attack your main deck. These dice need fives because of the master gunner. Main deck, not sails, but hull. Um, uh, I'm going after your sails. Okay. Might as well. So I need fives. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to fortune that. That would be such a waste this early. Uh, now that <laughs> No hits. Uh, then they will uh, free reload. Um, reload for one. Command action to reload. Alright, my 13 uh, diamonds. I've only moved one so far. But I'll use this on the front. Uh, what do I got here? I'll use it on the front deck, I'll reload twice, and that's it. And tough will knock off the fatigue from the Marinos. All right. Six of hearts for you. I am going to activate my Ford Marines and they are going to reload for two on those two cannons. A lot of reloading going on. Yeah. It's these early shots. I have a three of hearts. My seven. Turn one inch in again. For some reason, the turn up in this huge ship, even one inch, feels huge. So I'll go three forward. And now I expect to be less than 20 to your between our front decks, 19 inches. So now I can fire my swivels with some hope of hitting something. Not a <laughs> <laughs> the rough seas doesn't apply to them. I'm assuming because they don't have an initial. It's not an initial yet, yeah. So, uh, penalty of four, six 
base means I'll hit on tens and add 12 dice shooting your front deck. For some reason I have 11. Oh, it's right there. Uh, so I'll roll one my dice in this. Looking for only tens. I get one hit. One hit. One hit. Let's add the miss markers. One hit and you are going after my four deck? Four deck is going to save on sixes. Oh no, I'm not <laughs> That's a lot of powder for one deck. <laughs> uh, resolve check on fives. Oh. Two ones. Wow. You know, I retired those red dice after I got so many ones that one game. <laughs> <laughs> those are expensive dice to retire. I put them in. No, they, they, were, they were regular. Okay. Yeah, they were uh, cheap red. And then are you going to do any reloading? I reloaded for once, so my swivels have one reload. All right. Both of our ships move twice. This is our last card. Yep. One of the parts. Five parts. Five parts. Five parts. I'm going to... Check, moving forward for four, turning for one. Have you fixed your critical that slowed you down? Yes, I did. I still have the um, Sheets and Shrouds, but I do not have the uh, Sails and Spars anymore. So I turn for one. We're at under 20 inches for my poop deck. And I have two cannons on this deck that haven't fired yet. Got cannons everywhere. Uh, so these under 20, it's going to be uh, fours up to fives because of rough seas. Eight one and a three, one hit. And uh, still going after your sails. So at this distance, distance I need eights. Oh, no hits. Uh, I will then. Reload these two cannons for one. And I will use my Zelayden on the back with my last card. And they're just going to rally. They're laying down right now. They have a carpenter, but there's nothing for them to do yet. I oh. rolled a two, but I'm very inspiring. I roll a six. We skipped my last card. Again, mistakes happen. We skipped my last card. I was going to have the my press men on the quarter deck stand up. All my press men that started on the ground are now standing. I still have two units laying down. All right. Into turn one, right? Yeah, so now we apply. One man dead. <laughs> we'll, we'll draw our hand. Lots of, lots of gun smoke, though. Yeah. I drew an event, which I guess we need to apply immediately, right? Yes, well, we are going to apply these first. A lull. Right. And a plus one speed. So we have plus one speed and a lull. And a minus one for lull. Yeah. So we're at normal. And, and next turn it'll start to amp up. Unless we roll something else. And at the end of the turn, uh, the storm starts. Okay. So we are in a tropical, um, tropical weather pattern right now. So now a light rain happens. I'm about to laugh. Yeah, well. Your ship all has covered gun ports That's except right. for your swivel guns. <laughs> so the light rain makes you get, have one extra reload on every gun that's not in a roofed structure. So we're using, the, I, I love that I made these. Uh, it's, well, no, it's, it's um, Sargasso. And the ocean is Sargasso. Ah. <laughs> because, you know, the rain makes the, uh, the seaweed and Sargasso come to the surface. All right. You know, because of choppy wet weather. So we're putting this here to remind us that it is raining right now. Because we always forget rain. We, we do. There's too many games where we start rain started and we forgot the entire time. So that happens at the end of turn one. And uh, visibility is limited to 28 inches. And shoot actions that are not in a structure oh. that has a roof gain an additional reload marker. Forgot to brush it. All that lead that that ship weighs like 
Eight pounds. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's finally do your event. So I drew an event, and I rolled a nine on the C event. That's a, oh no, guess what it is. Rough seas? Submerged hazard. <gasps> is it a ship in your force? Choose one ship or boat at random from all forces of the oh. game. That ship has stumbled on an uncharted shoal. What does Dan call me? Shoal Magnet Joe. <laughs> so let's see if it's me or you. Who uh, rolls higher? Higher is you? Both of us roll. Whoever rolls higher gets oh. the pleasure. Okay. I'll take that. that makes, seems more dramatic. I'm not going to use my special. <laughs> so high is bad. High is so bad. Roll six to one. <laughs> Now I have a I have a specific one that's actually the right size for this because it says in the book it has to be twelve inches by four inches, right? All right. So this one is our twelve by four inch shoal. <laughs> what does this always happen to be? Right here. So I uh, to finish the event, the player that controls the affected ship places a shoal marker of at least four by twelve under the bow of the ship in any orientation that they would like. So long as the center of the shoal is under the bow of the ship, the player then rolls to see if the ship is running the ground as normal. So you can do it like that if you want. <laughs> Here, you can place it however you want. <laughs> uh, I mean, you have to the galley is going to get beached pretty much, for sure. Well, you got good thing you have two fortune left, right? Yeah. So you could do it like that so you can steer around it. That's right. But it's, you're, you're in the center. It doesn't say which center. Right. It's under the bow of the ship. So, I have... Yeah, you're talking about your ship's weight. You pushing it along has actually pushed the mat with it. Yeah. Instead of gliding on the dock. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I uh, beach myself. We need a 15, and I have a draft of 12. So I have to roll a 1 or a 2 for this not to happen. Yes. And if it does happen, it's horrible. We could have to bring my sails all the way down and then do a repair to get off. Uh, the eight. I'm going to spend a fortune. You might as eight well. Eight real, genuine piece of Spanish. Uh, You're paying, paying, paying the... A ten! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Even worse. So, I have So, hey, goal. hey. I'm glad we caught this on camera. It happens every time. I shoal by the Joe. It happened on camera, hitting a shoal. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Okay. So, so now though, we need a roll for our direct show. Sorry. I got a nine again. Did you get to pick again, and I rolled a six. This is wind minus one. Oh. So that's going to cancel out. What you chose last time. Yes, it will. Well, it started the next turn. So I will. I will. Um, <clears throat> I, should, I really want to just wind speed plus one. Cancel that out. <laughs> Keep this going. This derecho is very indecisive. Yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, shift the wind um, clockwise. So at the end of the turn, wind speed will go down one, but it will cancel out what I did last time, and the uh, put wind... Put windward, thank you very much. It will put you windward. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, start with the first activation of the turn. Turn two. Nine of spades. My three of spades, you get the initiative. Well, I'm going to attack to the starboard. One. And then go forward, four. So now I cannot maneuver anymore, so you can just come around and rake me from the front while I try to get off this shoal, and my cannons are going to do nothing. That's the plan, right? You know, I can, I can do that, or I can Talk pretend I don't take advantage of the situation. Like, uh, what type of opponent do you want to play? One that takes advantage of the situ situation, or one who uh, 
uh, pretends that you don't have terrible luck sometimes with Schultz. Well, do you want bitterness and respect all at once, or do you want... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to activate my command group. Uh, my command group is going to get a free reload and an action to reload on these three cannons. Um, and then I'm going to use a standard bearer to uh, a standard bearer's um, command rally. point to, for, to rally the gents in the front. I am inspiring, so I'm looking for a five. I'm going to reroll both of that. One, two? Yeah, two. one and a two. So both of the fatigue is coming off. Still have two command points left. So I might as well take the shot here at your rigging. I'm at un I'm at 14 inches right now, which is going to be a plus three or plus four. It's uh, four with rough seas. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> front deck uh, sails. Front, front deck sails. Yeah. Well, I, it doesn't really. I need to get that cheats and shroud damage. So you get that strike point later on because you're going to be concerned with um, dropping your sail setting, not. Oh no, my sheets are hurt. <laughs> so, uh, so I need a um, four to hit. And I'm using my first command point for this. Three, two, eight. Three, two, eight. All right. So do two dice for the light cannon, and uh, you're, it's still a four, mm -hmm. so I'm looking for seven now. A nine and a six. So one more damage. We're just barely doing anything on these cannons. And then, these cannons are not on a covered deck, so they take five reload. Gross. And then I'm going to ask the, um, I'm going to command point the two guys, in the, or the marines in the back, to reload their cannons. So they're going to reload those two for one. Not the world's most exciting turn. Uh, which unit was activating there? That was my command unit that activated. In the very middle? In the very middle. I don't think they can reach the back with the command point. For if it's a if it's a master gun? No, no, that's my Just commander. Right okay. Yeah, he has an eight inch range. Oh, yeah. Just to verify, like it it doesn't hurt when uh when there's a rules question like this, like what is your commander's command range? I was just thinking it was the master gunner's command point. No, my master gunner's on my uh, quarter deck right now. So this I'm gonna see if I can squeeze out a cannon shot before you get totally out of my range. Let me fix that. So the sea commander has an 8-inch range, so he yeah. hits the whole ship. Oh yeah, easy. So my front deck still can see your stern there. Oh, it can see my uh, quarter deck and my poop deck. Coming off from mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Scoops through in this one. So let's see what our range, if it makes a difference as far as range. That is slightly less than 16, probably, if I measure from. That's a full 16. Okay. So plus fours. Plus fours, and then a fifth for the rough seas. So, in fives, I'm going to go for your rigging again because it basically doubles my chance of doing anything. And you have two damage on the rigging already. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a free reload plus one action to reload and then push myself to actually shoot these cannons before you escape my field of fire. So, take fatigue to push. Five to hit, three dice, seven, four. Three dice, I need eight, eight, eight damage, you rigging. Nothing. Nothing, and I'm going to save my fortune for my repairs and whatnot, so that was a bust. And I only take four reload because I'm under a roof. It's really convenient, I don't, I have my my deck guns are a liability now. Yeah. I knew that coming in, but I had just painted the ship and I really use it. Use it. <laughs> that will help. Uh... I am going low with the club. OK. 
King of Hearts. Oh, I didn't move. <laughs> I didn't. I no, didn't move. you can't move. <laughs> yeah. So I am going to measure some distance right now. Yeah, this is real bad for me. I'm not going to be able to shoot you for another several turns except for my silver gun. <laughs> Show on the galley. Yeah, terrible. once I get to the front and if I just park my ship here, it'll be breaking shot and breaking shot. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, though. Like, I might get a shoal, too. <laughs> it's funny, before the game, uh, Joseph and I were talking and he was like, you know, guy, I don't want to play with any shoals on the table. <laughs> and then you said, but I have this one just in case. <laughs> yep, I know how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot with, uh, well, for starters, uh, my master gunner is going to command action these four cannons to reload. And then he's going to shoot. I'm at under 16, so that's plus threes. Um, he dropped, he dropped it to twos, but the rough seas brings it up to four. So I'm, and I'm going after, I think, your main deck. Well. Main deck, you'll have to go through the, I should go in for mass. I'll go after, I'll go after your floor deck. Because I can't, I don't think, um, anybody below deck should die from... Yeah, no one. I can't. I can't if I hit the rigging on that deck. They're in a subsection. Yeah, so they won't so get. So they they can't get hit. So I have to go after your forward deck. You are a damage man. Man. Yeah. So uh, going after rigging, I need uh, threes because of uh, plus one minus one. So I have three, three, two, seven. So three hits. Three hits. Oh. That's one. Two. Six dice. This is as much as we have rolled. Yeah. So I'm looking for four, I'm looking for sevens now. Six, eight, six, seven. One, two hits. All right, I have to take it on the Marinos, Piqueros, and... Saving on fives. They roll a nine. Nice. The result is... Five and they roll a five, so no effects there. But my rigging has four damage now, two more damage, and we'll reduce it to four to three. So uh, then I'm going to get a free reload and a action to reload. Uh, so two, three of these cannons are at two, and one is at three because of the dick. <laughs> <laughs> This is really silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that why Dan never takes them? Is just in case it rains. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna. My whole laying down situation is hurting my ability to change my sail settings. So I'm in a bit of confusion here. So why don't I just shoot my swivels instead? All right. So. Club, Marinos Precaros, they're going to reload the one reload they had on them, and then they're going to, for the first action, then shoot, and then reload again, so they'll end the round with two reloads because of the rain. Uh, looks like we're uh, less than 16, but more than 12. Is that going to be accurate? Yep. Yep. Um, anybody laying down right now? No, no. Okay. Everybody stood up. Because... And I'll go for your main deck. All right. two units on it, right? Yes. <clears throat> Pressmen and Marines. So hitting on nines, 12 dice. Rolling 11, so we roll one. And I got three hits, which is... Wow. Nice. So, I'm going to take uh, two hits on my Pressmen. Uh, they save on six. There, seven eight, seven. seven eight dash, or no, seven eight seven seven. Uh, saving on sixes, one save, one casualty, and then their resolve is seven. <laughs> Might as well pull tomorrow. Resolve is seven, so oh, two fatigue. Hey, you got two ones last time, you got. 
two twos this time. It's going to be a while until they start actually passing their seven percent. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, one on my Marines, looking for sixes. Got a ten. Now looking for fives. Also got a ten. So no fatigue there. Nice hit. Yeah, not bad for a long range total. Considering what your options are. <laughs> They're all bad. All my options are bad. <laughs> Running around in the galleon hurts a lot. It really I've, does. I've done it before. It just Me too. Makes you out of game for a while. Okay. For like the whole game, usually. You while well, you're just sitting there trying to get off the rock. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go with my main deck, the guys in the subsection. They're expert artillery crew, so they're all reloaded, ready to fire. Oh that's fair. But they can't shoot, really. So the master gunner is going to tell the command unit again to reload. So now they only have one reload on them. If I ever get to shoot again, then they're going to abandon the cannons and go up deck so they can start working on sails. Okay. Good time. Now that is a, a house rule that we added. According to the rules, you do not... You can work on the sails uh, in the subsection in the um, in the gun deck, but that just makes sense. It does. It the makes no sense. The rules are a little sketchy. I mean, so we're gonna play thematically. The only <laughs> repair actions I think you should you should even do from the down there is like a leak, right? Like a fire. Yeah, a leak. Okay. Leak or a fire. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's uh that's your turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, my turn. I'm going to activate my. Um, pressed men on my quarter deck. Uh, the pressed men who are standing, um, they get two actions on this diamond. They're going to do a repair action on the sheets and shrouds. All right. So I need a six for the dedicated. I got it. Seven. So I repair my sheets and shrouds. So now your rigging is back to mint condition. Yep, and I'm going to use my. Um, the Grizzled Veteran is going to command action the uh, other pressmen to rally them. So I'm looking for sevens now. I got a one and three, so nothing happens. Got two spades. I can activate my command group. They have expert or they have artillery crew, so they take out their last reload now. All the last, the back half of my ship is reloaded. Um, they have a command, they have an action they're going to waste because they can't shoot. But I don't know if I really want them off their cannons as well. Mm. Then I'll have two command points. I'm going right. to use one command point to make these guys, the main deck guys who abandoned the cannons and came up on deck, to try to change my sail from four to three. I need a five to do it. I got a ten. You got it. I'm making progress. And then the second command point, I'm going to make the guys um, that are laying down with the sailing master stand up. All right. And is that it? That's it. It's a lot of busy work for me now. <laughs> For my turn, I'm going to activate my uh, press men on the main deck, who are going to, they have one action, and they're just going to rally. So I'm looking for sevens. I got a ten and a one. So that goes down to one. Have the other guy stand up. Oh, yeah, leader. go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Just make it right, man. So then I will. Let's turn a little bit. You're going to your 
level five inches again, getting positioned in glass. Well, if you keep going five, you're going to get past it pretty fast. And then I'm going to use my um, expert sailor or sailing master. He's going to command action the pressman on this one, who have not had a command action yet, to do a change sail setting. Slow down? Yeah. They need a four because they're expert sailors. Got a nine, so I now go to a four. Kitten clubs. We're at 13 inches right there from my forward deck or forecastle. My forecastle is going to go after your sails again. All right. <laughs> I'm making some progress on them. Yep, you're going to get another three before long. Uh, so I go, I'm go. i going after your, and we're, uh, you can't go after sails if you're under 10 inches away. So I'm, I'm at the 13 inch mark right now. Yeah. So I would need... Um, threes, but because of rough seas, I be, need fours. And these guys are also, oh, uh, they're going to reload for two. And they have one action left. They're going to shoot also the swivels at that deck. Oh, wait, I can't shoot. Oh, okay. I can't shoot. Target two different things at once. So right? I'm going to shoot these swivels at your, um, at your rigging. Because sure. I, I can. So we're going to have to roll that separately. I don't think you can. You have yeah, to... you can use small arms to attack rigging. But you're going to miss. Because it's the it fortitude does. plus the range will combine to make 11, right? Well, let's check it out. So the This Snowball is not does... something that we've done before. <laughs> Snowball does a base of 6, and then you apply the range plus the fortitude, which is 3 and 4, so your target would be 13, I think. Which is a miss because they have no extended range that I know of. Let's just let's just look it up. Attacking, I I have not attacked rigging. I read Small it before. Arms. Yeah. Although swivel guns, swivel guns are a strange thing. They're in between small arms and cannons. Most of the cannon rules apply, but some of them don't. Small arms versus rigging. Units with small arms and swivels may attempt to damage a ship's rigging with a range attack. These less powerful weapons cannot do massive damage like cannon fire can. Instead, units with small arms can try to compromise the rigging by shooting out the smaller, delicate sail components, like lines and blocks. To represent the difficulty and reduced effectiveness of this, a unit firing on the rigging with small arms and swivels must roll two successful hits to score one hit on the rigging. Small arms and swivels can store a lucky hit on the rigging, uh, but the attacking unit must roll at least two natural tens on the shoot test. Small arms and swivels may ever score any critical hits on rigging. If they're in the units, blah, blah, blah. Um, because you're not, because I'm not going up against its difficulty, I don't, I don't add the, the difficulty, the fortitude of the rigging. It's just range and the sh natural shoot. So that's uh, if you're going after it with muskets too. So I, I don't add the fortitude of the rigging. Okay. So it's still going to be nines, yeah. you know. So it's going to be six dice at nines. So you need two nines to get one hit. Yeah, and I need two, two for one hit. And then these dice can never hurt the crew because I'm just shooting out delicate components. Okay. But they can, on two natural tens, cause something. And then I'm going to do two cannon damage. These need a four. And then these will go. So this happens at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> a complicated attack. I know. So, so let's two cannons and, four, and two swivels yes. shooting all at once <coughs> at, at your rigging. <laughs> your rigging, which has all sorts of different modifiers. So uh, these dice need um, the fours because of rough seas. One hit. One hit. And now they need sixes, sevens to damage. Sevens. So no Oof. hits there. So now these dice need nines. Two nines. 
Two nines. I would need a natural. So one not, hit, which was a ten, but it does nothing because you need two hits. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nothing happens. Uh, then I get a bunch of reload markers. Uh, the cannons get four. Five? Four because the cannons are down below. And the souls have three. Yeah, if not the chasers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my club, I'm going to have my, we're going to try to get these sails down. So the Zeliden, nope, the guys with the uh, Sailing Master are going to stand up. And then they're going to use a command point to tell themselves to change the sail say. Because these guys already got a command point. Managing command points can be tricky with so many characters. Yeah. So the expert sailors. They're going to need a four. Three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's how it goes. I got diamonds. I'll use my Zelight in the back. They're going to try to change the sail setting. They're experts, so they need a four. And I have two actions on this diamond, a heart, so I need a three. You know I got to roll, right? We'll see. I, you're going to get it. A nine, yes. Okay, my sail setting is now two. Took me a one turn to move it. I have my guys laying down was a really bad penalty there. Okay, I'm gonna go forward three. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take back that move because I don't want to go over the shoulder. Oh god, it's not the water side. <laughs> You need to put the show like this from now on because that is such a. Please don't rake me. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Um, I have one unit left. All right, under 16. That's uh, threes. They are going to reload twice and fire. So I need fours. Um, was I was I able to? I'm gonna go after a mid deck. Main deck. Is that 15 inches? Main mast. So because you have a unit on the deck there, right? Yep. All right. Came upstairs. So I need fours to hit. Ten two. Two and a ten. Notice that with the whenever I shoot a pair of dice, it's one hit, one assist. Yeah. <laughs> So, and going after the rigging here is uh, still four, three, so four. sevens. Four, three. You got a seven total. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one of these cannons is above deck. Okay. So, the, with the... Uh, Worsening storm, uh, it only worsens on odd, the end of odd number turns. Right, so, so it's the end of turn two, right? Yes, it's still raining, but our weather system changes, which means it um, goes clockwise. So now the wind is coming from the pantry. Yes, so. So we change it like that. Yes. towards me. You're windward, and uh, we are at. Um, no, we got plus one and minus one wind, so no huge changes to the wind yet. Let's draw our hand, and then we'll roll for the direction. Let's see if I can draw a shoal for you, too. That would be fun. That would be exciting. I've only hit one shoal uh, using that. Oh, I got an event. Maybe this will be it. Please roll an eye. <laughs> It's a nine. Submerge that. <laughs> <laughs> now, in fairness, it might be your ship again. It might. So. <laughs> Seven rolls high. Seven to six. So I hit a double shoal? You hit a double shoal now. What does that mean? I think I got another one in here. I'm not a die. <laughs> 
I don't, I mean, is there anything to do at this point? Am I already on a show? I'll just pick this one over the top. <laughs> yep. This, this one is twice. not what it said, the science, but I never expected to hit double shoals in one game. You played me before, you should, you should have. You know so, the storm swell brought me off the shoal and plunked me down on it again, right? Well, it, it <laughs> I, um, I think that it's, it's kind of like, you know, have you seen the wind, how it will uh, carve out a portion of the ocean with a storm? Yeah. So, it just did that, where it dipped down enough that the more the larger area of the reef was undercovered and you're now well you're the same level of stuck <laughs> but Just uh, salt in the wound <laughs> now again i'm glad we're recording this joseph has hit two shoals in one game there's only two shoals left to hit on these decks now <laughs> yeah, well I, I already did it in fact okay, good. so on there's only one shoal left <laughs> i'll draw a replacement card why me <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for. Uh, well, I, <laughs> it would have been funny if I hit it though, because it would have been, been the funny. same area. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have made sense like that. Uh, let's roll for Derek Show. So I got this dice. I roll a nine, so I get to choose. And we apply yours first. And we roll a ten, which means you get a double choice. What? All right. <laughs> So I can swing the wind around so you're... 180. Wow. And I get to choose now? You get to choose... Yeah, you have to choose now, but it doesn't apply right now. It right. applies uh, at the end of the turn. So I can make the wind go up one. Can and go up two. move it this way so you're in the wind's eye. But I'll also be in the wind's eye, so maybe not. Maybe I'll just make it go plus two. That would be fun. Yeah. It would help when you... Uh, get off the... Three yeah. point zero, <laughs> exactly. It hurts me because I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to roll sales. Now. So we're gonna put this down here, and you know, I just thought about this. When we make a choice, why don't we set it the number at the choice that it should be? You know what I'm saying? Actually, so the wind's already plus one, so our wind will be plus three. Yeah. No, it's uh, it went plus one and then minus one. Remember? Okay. Because we had the gust. And I did a, no, we had the lull, and I did the plus one. And then the next one, you rolled a win mi minus one, and I did the uh, clockwise. Okay. So this is, we're going, I'm just going to mark that it's going to be um, five and five. Let's set this right here. I should actually move this over here. Double shoals that we caught on camera, right? I still don't believe that. Good time. <laughs> and my if you, yeah, dear viewer, have hit two shoals in one game while well, still on a shoal, tell us and I'll send you a free sloop. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll never hit shoals again. to get a rake at this point. Yeah. I am going to activate my command group or no activate uh I'm gonna activate my master gunner on the quarter deck. They are going to reload for the card for two. Reload reload three one from the heart right um one of their cannons has a one. So I have three cannons. Three cannons at zero. And one at one. So I'm just going to shoot first. Did you get your cannons all goofed up? Because one's on the deck. 
See, the, the dick gun. Yeah. So <laughs> that one gets an extra reload. Oh, you're right. But the ones below don't. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like, I am just over 12 inches. So four is to hit because of the rough seas, and then down to three because of the because of master gunner, is that right? Yep. So I'm only going to shoot with uh, three guns because I want to save that. Um, I want to save those two reloads. So threes, a five, a six, and a two. This is a rigging again. Yep. Until I start getting some breaking shots in. All right, so you get hit on sevens again. Three for penalty, four for fortitude of my rigging. So, yeah. ooh, a lucky hit. And they, they, something's actually going to follow on your uh, Marinello's Piqueros. Yeah. All right, I took the two damage. My fortitude is now three. I'll take the save on my Marinello's Piqueros. They need a five. I need a five. They need a five for resolve. I take a four. Good thing they're tough, though. Mm -hmm. And then this will be the lucky hit. It's a negative one to the roll. It's a one, so this is zero. I'm going to use a fortune to re-roll that. All right. Two. What is two? Nothing? Oh, sales and spar damage. So that one is slower. And then uh, I'm going to reload the cannons for two included. So the deck gun is fully reloaded, and the three have two reloads on them. That's a master gunner reload and a heart activated expert artillery. Yep. Okay. Um, I got a club. I'm going to shoot my swivels. I'm going to reload for two and then shoot. I'll shoot at your main, your, where's your commander? Commander's in the mid deck. All right. I'll shoot there. Nice. I think we're, yeah, we're over 12 inches still. One extra dice. 12. Uh, three, three hits. Three hits again. <clears throat> These two are going to be on the press men on six. A nine and a three, so one press man dies. I saw the lost man. I know. Even though I'm really not me. These two dice will be resolved of seven. Take two for two. That seven is bad, isn't it? I know. Every time I take press man and list, I tell myself, why did I do this to myself? They're so cheap. So they're going to lie down because they have three fatigue on them now. And then this one on my Marines looking for a six. Got a nine, now looking for a five. Oh, it rolled. It rolled and it's a two, so they take one fatigue. Your beer foiled you. I know. Usually dinging off beers are what? lucky, but not in this case. Exciting stuff. <clears throat> and then they lose their fatigue. Yep, because they're tough. I'm gonna waste my 13 of spades. To do what? <laughs> I'm gonna use my unit with the saving mask for the saving master. Mm -hmm. He's going to move to the main deck. No, it doesn't help. Yeah, it does. And then I got to try to use my saving master to change my sail saving. Is that it? All right, I will activate my command group. My uh, standard bearer 
Well, my commander is going to use the standard bearer's action to rally the pressed men. I need sevens. Oh, the broker? Nice. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're lying down right now. I am inspiring. You throw them all. Ah. So, so I get to take one off. Oh, my goodness. That's six. <laughs> nice. Down to two. These are entertaining. There's many. That was your probably your uh, standard bearer. Yeah, that was a standard bearer rally. Then I am going to use a free reload on the spade, and an action to reload. And then I'm going to tell my crew in the front section to reload. So they're going to reload. And then I'm going to kill. And way in the back to reload. So the only unit that has not had a command point right now is the press men on this deck. Okay. And that is my turn. Sail thing, I can get off soon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking taking a while choosing because uh, there's a lot to choose right now. Gotta get that break. I gotta hit the spades to your club. I'm gonna mute my command unit. I'm gonna tell the guys in the main deck that came up from the gun deck to try to bring my sails down. Need a five, a seven. Yes, I'm at zero. I just got a new repair action. Then I'll use my command port to make these guys have the carpenter do the repair. So I need a six. Seven is their normal repair, and they have a carpenter, which gives them a minus one. Three. Three. Last fortune? Do you have one fortune? I do have a fortune, but I can just activate them and try two more repairs later. I'm going to keep. But if I... Sure, I'll use the fortune. All right. This is a real piece of Spanish gold. Ooh. One half escudo. Spanish gold. Right. That, makes, that makes his dice extra lucky. <laughs> this is a very expensive dice. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Just what I need. Nice. So I get to move three inches off. Mm -hmm. Straight, or do I get to turn? I think I you, you push three inches away. So straight. Yeah, I think it would be straight. You want to move from the front. And just make it so there's three inches away from the shoulder. All of this. There you go. I'm off the shoal. <laughs> I lost all my fortune. I used two fortunes. One trying to avoid the shoal and one getting off the shoal. But it only took me one to one and a half turns. Yeah, that wasn't bad. And then my command unit itself can't do anything because they're on cannons and they can't shoot and they're all over. Makes sense. Um, and that's it for your turn? Yep. All right. Uh, for mine, I will have my rear cannon crew. I'm going to do three actions. The deck gun still has one reload marker on it. I think I've only moved once. I can start. Yeah. Yep, I'm waiting for you to do the rake. I the problem was I, I shot too much heading in. That you know, I got a mess of reloads now. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> as opposed to the galleon, uh, this ship has five cannons out of um, eleven that are on on the deck. So that's extra reloads all around, especially this deck. Right. I hit with 
plate again. I'm going to use my Zilliden to try to raise my sail. All right. So you need a four. Yeah. I got a nine. My nice. sail is out at one. But I'm facing into the wind, so I have a windward uh, penalty of minus two. But I don't have to move yet. No, you do have to move on the next card. I do, because I have two cards left. Yes. Um, for my action, I am going to activate my uh, pressmen that are back here. Um, they are going to try changing my sail set. So they are expert sailors right now because of the Sun of Neptune. So I goes off on a four. Eight. So I reduce my sail setting down to three. And that is the turn. My other press man group, uh, this one action becomes zero actions, which makes them so the only thing they can do is rally. Uh, so they're going to rally. They need sevens. I got one off. <laughs> you spend the whole uh, turn reloading and rallying. I know. I was kind of just getting off the. <laughs> and then, then though, the uh, sailing master there is going to tell the. Only only unit that hasn't had an action yet is the press man on the quarter deck. He's going to tell them to change the sail setting. So they need a four. I got a seven, so I'm now down to a two. And then I got to move. Oh. You already moved. He's, or you haven't. I haven't. I get... I get a move here and a move on the last two cards. Uh, I'm going to try using the Sailing Master to reduce my speed by one. It happens, so I only have to move one inch. All right, I'm gonna use my crew that came up on deck from their cannons. To do a dedicated raise sail. I need a four because I have two actions. I got a four, hooray! So then I'm going two speed and I have a minus two, so I go exactly zero. Yeah, because you do not have state sails. Right. But I don't have to drift. Wait, wait, you go two minus two, so you'd be at zero. Okay. So you, you do have to drift. You're at zero. You need on your zero and you're not angry, you gotta drift. Okay. Like. So the wind's coming this, this way. way, so I'm gonna drift that way. Yep. Backwards turn. From the other side. Which is good. For me. It's some movement. It's some movement and it messes up your rake. Yes. My attempted rake, I. I should have stopped firing on the approach. Of course, you know, the way that we put the shoal, I had to move around it. If you put it the long way, it would have been a lot easier to scoop it. No apologies here. <laughs> <laughs> Last card. I got a six of diamonds to your three. Um, I have a gun crew up here. I'm going to do this going to reload for and drop some fatigue, so not much going on here. They had two reloads left. I'm going to spend two actions fully reloading the swivels and loading the cannons on that deck for two. That's into the third turn. That's half the game so far, right? Yes. Now, uh, neither of us are at the highest sail. Oh, and then I got to move. I, mean, I do too, actually. Yeah.
You're still drifting. Yeah. But You're now, taking away my rake. I'm not windward. Yeah. I can move. So now, though, <laughs> with what you chose, with the two fives, uh, you're going to go from drifting to moving four. Um, because plus right. speed, mm -hmm. yeah, wind speed plus two. Hey, I get to move a ship again. This will be fun. Uh, so, but this is the end of the third turn. <laughs> so the weather does more stuff, right? <laughs> yes. Um, it's the end of the third turn. We go to uh, heavy rain. Um, visibility limited to 20 inches. All move actions have a negative one penalty, and any unit that takes a shoot action that is not inside the structure with the roof gains two reload. Oh my gosh, this is going to hurt so much. I brought the wrong ship for this. You brought the right ship. You you should have had the galleon and had just your marinara pequeros running along on the top and just everybody below deck. But I guess it, the shoal kind of ruined that too. Uh, shoal ruined my life. So our second rain marker is out. So um, the move action penalty doesn't apply to ships, it just applies to no. land. No, it, it doesn't. Now, um, and because each of these are uh, like, each of them canceled the previous one uh, instead of being cumulative. The move action never really does anything for ships. The rain does, yeah. like, a lot. <laughs> Two reload markers. <laughs> uh, those swivels are cannons now. Imagine if uh, poorly equipped still worked on cannons. I get oh. seven reloads. <laughs> or if you let some of your mariners have pistols, that would have be. Five reloads for a pistol. Five reloads on a on a club. Ow. But might as well just throw them away. <laughs> throw them overboard. Okay. <laughs> Lighten the ship's load. Right. Now, uh, though some important, some other things happen right now. Uh, you still have a sails and spar damage on your ship, I believe. No, I do. So, oh, so your speed would have been reduced by one, anyways. Or was it? Yeah, with sails and spar, your speed would have been reduced by one. So your speed is reduced by one currently, but you get a strike point for that. I don't care. I'm resilient. And well, and you don't have uh, no, you don't have enough casualties to. I have zero casualties. Yeah, your rating fortitude is finally down to a three, yeah. but it, you don't get any strike points from that yet either. And uh, we have to roll to see if the game continues, because it might end. <laughs> that would be sad. Uh, I'll roll one dice. Or oh, do you want to roll for derecho? We should roll to see if the game continues first. <laughs> Use a one to end, right? It's a, if it's a one, it ends. It's a six, so the game continues. All right. Okay, and now we'll roll for uh, the derecho. A one, and I got a three. So one is nothing, and a three is wind direction shifts counterclockwise. So, so it's going to come... It's going to go this way. Well, well, right now it's facing towards me. Now it's gonna go. Yeah, yeah. So back the way it was. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. At, so that's that is not that threatening. <laughs> we do have the heavy rain to contend with. That is entertaining, but also kind of hard to keep track of everything. Yeah, that's why this is why when I was designing the scenarios, the the derecho and the uh, lightning, which our lightning hasn't struck yet, uh, those are optional rules. Like, I suggest playing through the scenario without the optional rules to, like, just learn it. Because um, increasing the weather each turn and keeping track of the uh, objectives are, that's kind of enough most of the time. Yeah. What's the state of your reloads right now? Pretty clean? Uh, I have... One and two of the main deck. Yeah, th I have, uh, these cannons have one on them, the main deck ones have three it's because <laughs> it was raining. Uh, the quarter deck has uh, one, the deck gun is fully reloaded and the other two have two, and my back guns have one on, one each. I don't know why I put it on that side. So the wind is plus two right now. We're at sail setting two. two so you're going four. I'm at sail setting two. Plus two is four minus one for my sail. Yeah. But you're out you're off your shoal. Off my shoal. I don't know why I was shuffling my deck right now. It just happened. <laughs> uh six cards. 
No event. Well, no, all my events are here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Wait for me to draw the last one. I hope it's not another shoal. That's we don't have another long one. <laughs> Sales settings yeah. Um I guess let's do some long range cannonry. You got a spade, I got my diamond. Uh free reload, free reload on my front cannons. I'm moving four, even though I'm at two sales settings. <laughs> One, going three forward, down the shoal. I think that's a raking shot. Can they get to see your whole ship through this deck? Just do that one front deck, right? What? Just do that one front deck? Yeah, just for the front rent, front deck. These, this, this is not even, this deck isn't even the range. Right. These are, no, just a front deck. So I'll do a front deck raking shot. Um, I'm not really afraid of this, actually. <laughs> no. Two can, uh, it could be bad, but two cannon, two small cannons at good range. Um, and I, you have to do a hole to really get the rake, right? Or does it work on the rake game too? I, I think it would work on the rigging if I wanted to, but I'm gonna sure. go. I'm gonna go after your gun decks because uh, that's where your people are right now, <laughs> right? Who's who's on the deck? I know your mariner and scarabs are on the deck. Only gun decks are the front and the third right now. Oh, really? They came up. Okay, so I have no guns back here. So uh, if I go at your deck, I will hit them, them, <laughs> right, mm -hmm. and them. Okay, so I might as well go after the deck. It's the best shot, or the, the first raking shot I've had in a long time, actually. Because mm -hmm. I'm usually too aggressive for it. Um, we are at over 16. So fours, fives, because rough seas. Yep. <laughs> I have two fours left. <laughs> uh, and I'm taking advantage of this right now because I know you're going to turn and take away the right. raking shot advantage. Uh, so I need uh, fives. Five to one. No one. <laughs> I would like to hit. Is everything? Oh, and I'm doing my souls against the deck too, obviously, because they can shoot as well. Okay. Um, but the cannons are more important. Ten and eight. So okay. both of them. So now four dice. Uh, it's going to be five plus four. Yep, nines. Nines. And the nine it counts four dice. Double. What? Any hit counts twice, right? No, well, any hit, hit counts against every deck on the ship. It counts twice, and then you apply it to every one alternating, I believe. We need to look this up really quick. <laughs> it's been a while since we had a rate. Yeah. Let, let's see if I hit at all, because I'm fishing for nines right now. Yeah. That's fortune. <laughs> no hits. No hits. Last fortune nines. of the game. All liners spent. All yours are spent. Two, four, three, and eight. So nothing. We don't even have to look at the rules because nothing happens. <laughs> oh, uh, solo, solo against your forward deck, obviously. Six. Six dice hitting on uh, yeah. tens. Uh, nothing. We can't hit each other. Now, would my fortune let me re-roll that, since I used a fortune on it? Yep. Yeah. So, nothing there. Why are so many of our games bloodless? <laughs> Speak for yourself, I killed two of your men. Yeah, you did. Like four? Three? No, three. <laughs> three men. Three, two press men die. <laughs> uh, those dice, those, those guns have four reloads on them, and the swivels have four reloads on them. 
So they are out of commission for a one time. All right, I'm going to use my Sailing Master unit. They're going to look for a extra burst of speed. I get an eight, so I get it. So I get him on my move my full four, which I will do right now. Blazer. Turn two. And then I'll do a repair action. Um, they need a six because they have two actions. I roll seven, so I get rid of my one. Sales and Spar, which takes away the uh, strike point. That's right. So now I move my full forward normal. And. Just like that. I have another, I could use another command point from the saving master to give, to increase or decrease my snail setting, but I think I'm perfect. All right. Next card. All you, with your four of spades to my queen of hearts. I can move again. It's so exciting. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time moving. <laughs> Just turn one. sound effect going on outside. Yeah. It's a nice spring storm we have. I'm going to shoot some cannons again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Command unit's going to... Oh, man, I can't because I took my guys off my cannons. Yes, you did. And it's a dedicated action to reassign them. Yeah. Do you have a... Is this your command group? Well, I haven't decided yet. Ah. Because <clears throat> you can move them down there. Right. Command action to assign them and then... If they have, uh, oh, you got to on speed. You can push the fire. It's going to take a while. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's okay. Okay. I'm going to activate the unit that came off the guns. They're going to go downstairs, but they can't get on the guns because it's dedicated to command the guns. But the master gunner, which is in that unit, is going to have the guys in the front reload the cannons, so now they have one reload on the front cannons. Mm -hmm. Although maybe I should just shoot my cannons anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Sorry. Uh, master, the uh, commander is going to actually go. Okay. He's going to tell them to go downstairs. Okay. And then I'll shoot my cannons, just because I need to shoot. So what cannons are you shooting? Uh, the mas the uh, commander's cannons in the third deck here. So he commanded the guys on your midship to, to move down. To move down. And then just using the natural. We got over 20 inches. Yeah, 21 inches. All right. So that's. Six is to hit. Six is to hit. We'll go with. Ten's to hit. Very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hit. One cannon made contact. All right. So three dice at ten. At uh, no, at um, nine. I got a hit. Ah. Like. Doesn't hurt anybody, but you got one damage. And then, so that was action. They get a free reload. They're below deck, so they don't get extras. And then I have one more command point. I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> You're good, <gun> go. <laughs> There's a try. I am. Um... I am I am living through Noah's flood up here, and you're just below deck, <laughs> cozy, nice and dry. <laughs> nice and cozy down here. Um, I'll use that second command point to reload my front deck. So I have one reload in my front deck, three in my middle deck, and none on my third deck. All right. Okay. Sorry, that took a while. That was exciting.
This makes me touch the reef. Did I touch the reef? No. <laughs> so I am going to uh, activate my um, quarter deck master gunner group. Looks like you can only hit that, and it's above 16. And here you have this. These guys are below deck, right? My command unit right here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna go after your rigging, even though it's not gonna hurt anybody, because uh, this is my best way to give you a strike point. Because I'm obviously not hurting anybody, and the really? game might end <laughs> any moment. <laughs> yeah. And neither of us have strike points yet, <laughs> because we we don't have uh, sails or spar damage. I think the weather is winning. The weather is winning. It's, <laughs> this is a uh, never fight through story. <laughs> so, um, I have a free reload and command action reload. And I'm going to fire four dice, four, four guns. I need a four, rough weather to a five, master gunner to a four. Reading. So I need four. So three hits. Pretty good. I am missing medium cannons. Light cannons uh, feel so sad, don't they? <laughs> so three hit, three cannons hit, and I'm gonna roll six dice. Did you roll your saves against that beer? <clears throat> uh, I did. Failed them all. <laughs> I did. Uh, I, I succeeded at all of them. Uh, against that beer spill because um, these are plastic cards. So there's, I do usually when you knock a, a beer over on a deck of cards, you've lost a whole deck of cards, but not in this case. <laughs> so what is your rigging fortitude right now? Three, three, and we are at uh, over sixteen, I believe. So sevens, six dice at seven. Lucky oh, hit. Regular hit. Second lucky hit. And then, so three hits. And then the lucky hit. Nine. Man, which turns into a nine, which is sheets and shrouds. And that makes my <clears throat> saving actions more difficult. And that was on this deck with nobody on it, right? Yes. So nothing falls on anybody because they're safely below deck. Yep. Um, and then I have one action left. Uh, <laughs> so the deck gun has six reload markers on it. <laughs> and the, the three below deck have four. So I'm going to reload the deck gun for one and the other guns for one as well. So you got five and three? Six reloads on my <laughs> Nine. And you are at um, oh, three more. Three more damage you're rigging, and I'll give you a strike point for it. Yeah. It's not even close for you. What have I done? Like three damage? You've done two, three damage to my rigging. I'm, I'm doing that line right there above because. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I'm using a light frigate card, <laughs> and I have the six right here, but it's not laminated, so um, I don't want to touch it. In fact, you can see on this card when I have rig on it, see that five on the sail setting? That's because I did use one of these. Oh, and, fine card. <laughs> yeah, even after trying to erase the dry erase off it, it left the uh, alcohol bird. <laughs> so <clears throat> don't mark these with markers. <laughs> Right. Copy diamond, we have a spade. Six of spades. Okay, so I am going to um I can't move, I've already moved twice this turn. And nobody's on 
on deck on your midship, right? Because he sent stuff. No, there is people. There is one unit on deck there. What unit is that? It's the unit with the sailing master. Oh, okay. So, ooh, I'm at under 16. Under 16, I am going to activate my command group. My command group is going to get a... They're going to fire these can, the cannons on the deck for the last time. <laughs> because six, six reload markers is tough. They get a free reload. They get a action to reload. Then a command action to reload to reload those guns fully. And I'm going to push them to fire. Right. Giving them a second fatigue. What's up here? Um, let's, let's do that, that firing first. So I was at under 16. So... We are looking at threes up to fours. Rough seas? Yep. I really, like, I like rough seas. I should have wrote it into the rules. Like, but I like that it can happen uh, First naturally. First this automatically rough seas. Or yeah. Well, well, like, I like that this could happen because this has made this game very unique and stormy. But I, rough seas has really punished us. Because <laughs> look at that, look at the little damage. <laughs> so I need fours. Uh, four, four, and two. So you always miss with one. I do. I'm, gl I'm glad I brought so many spares. Um, so now I need threes. Uh, three sixes. So four dice at six. Nah, <laughs> no more to live. Five, four, watch, four. watch this. Yeah, that was five. Five, four, one, one. So now, uh, the card is black. Six reloads on these three cannons. <laughs> oh gosh, that hurts so much. Just um, throw the cameras overboard. I have uh, two command points left. Um, the first command point is going to be to tell my guys in the front to reload one. One. So I have uh, three cannons there, have three reloads, or two two cannons have uh, three reloads, and the two swivels have two. And then I'm going to try rallying the press man on this deck. Need a seven. Nope. Inspiring. Seven. So I take off that fatigue. This is a really exciting game. <laughs> it's a weird game. I, it is. I didn't do my command unit. I just did the guy as me and go downstairs, right? No, you did do your command unit because you told them to go below deck. Right. And you shot with cannons with it. All right, we got three cards each left, right? Yep. This is the end of the, uh, this is the fourth turn we're in right now. I'm really wishing I brought all sea dogs with that, that expert reload. Yeah. Ten of clubs to your... Seven of clubs. Yeah. So I am going to I'm going to activate my um, gents in the front. They're going to reload their cannons for three and the swivel guns for two. Lots of reloading. And that's it. All right. I'll activate my cannon crew up here. They can actually shoot. They have one reload. I have three actions. Ooh, ooh. Can I, can I take, take that back? Yeah. Uh, I realized that was double activating that unit. Oops. So I'm going to activate these guys right here. Just gonna stand up. Stand up. Yeah, they're happy. 
All right, let's see if I can do some damage to your sails. You're still at four of those, so it's going to be tough. Yep. We're at 14 inches. Four is to hit three medium cannons. Two, one, eight. One hit, so I get three dice. Three plus four is seven. All misses. <laughs> this is a useless game. Um, I get a reload for one. Just can't do anything. Yeah, it's the rough seas and the extra reload markers. Well, it's reload markers on your swivels. Oh, the shoals. Oh, the shoal, yeah. <laughs> Double shoal. Double shoal. <laughs> I've only moved once though, so I have to move the next two turns. Mm -hmm. Two of hearts. Four of hearts. I've already moved two like, twice, so I do not. I'm going to activate my um, pressman on the quarter deck. Uh, the pressman on the quarter deck are going to change my sail setting. They need fours. They're going to spend. A well, it's a dedicated action. But they only get one action. But I might as well give the have the um oh no, that's a that's a that's not enough. So we need fours. I got it. So my sail setting is now at five at three, which becomes five with the wind. Alright, my two of clubs. I'm gonna activate my Zelidon back here. They have a carpenter. I really can't do anything with them at all. Don't you have a sales and spark damage though? Yeah, or um, you had a shoots and shroud damage? Because remember yeah. I rolled the nine yeah, on the right there. So they can do that actually because they're right there. Yeah. So they'll give it to themselves. Uh, let's do. Not just go with the. They had a club. They get a bonus. And then the carpenter. So that brings it from seven. Six. Six, five, five four. four. Four repair. Two. I, I'm happy with that because the game might end and I want you to have that strike point. And they only have a range of three with a command point for the repair action. So I can't give it to my command group because they're assigned. So that is wasted. So. You guys move for three. Sales and spar means you move one less, so you're moving three. Oh no, this is sheets and shrouds. Yes, sir. Let's make this interesting. All right, last card of turn four. Twelve hooks. Nine slubs. All right. What do you have left? The guys in the front? Yep, the Mariners for the Kettles. All right. Try to board you if I really want to. Other than three? Yep. Going from the top? No. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well, do we go from the top or the bottom to board? <laughs> I think we go from the top, but if oh, we go from the, the top. Rail. If we go from the top, then like you really have to be super close I to board. I have to be basically on top of you because of the height difference. Yeah. That's weird. If we go from the base, I would like to go from the base for shooting from now on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we'll just because I'm consistent uh, go from the top, but I'm gonna have to be like one inch away because you're so much lower than me. Weird. I would really like you know this is again this is a problem that we've had with the galleon and the flute is they have the bulbous body and mm -hmm. you don't want to count it for cannon range because it means that um, if you're shooting from the deck, it's you're always further away than the bottom of the hull. But Okay, I will 
reload twice and then jump off the can the swivels because if you board me I need to have somebody ready to go. But yeah, I thought sure I was gonna board you, but the height difference is really deceptive. So I have one reload and the swivels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can from now on just go from the from the base of the model. You know, I would be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, it would simplify things. It would simplify things because uh, for distances, um, and it makes it so the flute and the guy can have a little bit of a disadvantage. But you're also shooting from the base as well. Yeah, it does make it. You know, it just means that it has a larger shadow. You, oh, you wanted to jump off? Yep, so they're on the side now. I thought you were going to do a shot. I can't. We thought about reload. Oh, they, oh, shoot. And you can't, yeah, you don't use the V-Ted to measure from. It looks like I should be bored, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, but we've been shooting from the front, the top. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to... The where I'm coming from, and I'm glad we're having a conversation on camera, it, where I'm coming from is that it doesn't make sense to measure from one space the whole game and then switch to measuring from a different space when it's it. convenient. No, you, know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? So if if we're going from the base the whole game, we are under three, you know, because right there. But yeah. since, we've been sh since I've been measuring to the, the rail, you know, you that's you know we are like look how close you are yeah like it's like away. you are you are a quarter of an inch away so you it's still possible you know it's a quarter of an inch um but we should really can maintain where we're measuring from yep all right so it's my turn uh Five because then my sales hitting is at three. So I'm at over four inches. Uh, I cannot shoot at your rigging because you're under oh, ten inches. So they get one reload. Oh, I really wish I had crib shot. <laughs> um, I'm gonna shoot at that deck, obviously. <laughs> Because I have to. Uh, the gun deck or the upper deck? Uh, you got guys in the gun deck, huh? And guys in the gun deck would save on six against cannons. They save on fours against small shot, but they save on sixes against cannons. So I might as well go after the gun deck. So I have two dice that would hit on... Um, we're at plus one, so they'd hit on ones. But it's plus one because of rough seas, so it becomes twos. Which is the same as one. Yes. <laughs> I just, you know, didn't want to say, okay, hit on twos. Oh, no, it's threes, but it's ones. Or it's, uh, it's hit on twos. I need a five, so both hit. That's the first time the whole game all my cannons have hit <laughs> on a deck. Um, and uh, this, these are going to be hit on fives. No, sixes. So we're looking at sixes. Two lucky hits, four hits on your gun deck. Which turns into three. Yep. So I'll save on sixes. I have three men getting hit. Two, 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 two. Three men die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and all of a sudden, what are you going Even. We're I'm actually. Sure. Even on deaths, but I have less points to you. That's right. I just lost nine points. Uh, I, they took two fatigue. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to, I already used one action to reload, one action to fire, and action to reload. The deck gun has five reload markers on it. <laughs> and the one below deck has three. All right, in the turn... Was that four or five? That was turning four. 
shot. These are, this is a meaty game. Yeah. Uh, end of turn four. Uh, this was our first turn of the torrential downpour. Uh, we have to now roll to see if the game continues. Now, I rolled last time, so why don't you roll this time? What do I need to roll to make it continue? Yeah, so you can... Well, because if you... If we, the game ends right now, I win because you have a strike point from what sales and spar damage. You need a four plus. Nine. Game continues. Now we apply the wind direction, so the wind is now coming from this way. Okay. Plus two. Yep. And now we we new new rolls for the dry show, which we'll apply at the end of this turn. I got a one, which is nothing, right? A one is nothing, and a ten, which is you choose. All right. Um, make the wind go up one, just to make it exciting. All so right. Wind will go to three next turn. Wind speed plus one. This really is feeling like a storm. Um, a storm that hinders our ability to do anything. I know, I know. Look at how many, my, my main deck has six reload on it. And this is turn five. Six. The game might end this turn because we would need a six. But the game might go to turn turn eight or oh, or you know. Oh my gosh. Seven spades. Go ahead. All right, let's make something happen here. All right. I feel a boarding action. I don't know why. It's gonna be pretty. Certainly in the way, but if I can go four inches, I'm confident I can get up within three inches. I'm going to be basically. Yeah, we'll, 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 we can call it. Now I can rotate my mass a little bit. This is why, what I've been doing this is, this is kind of why I never glue down any of my mass because yeah. I got tired of them breaking for one. Um, and if they're not glued down, then that you don't have anything breaking yeah. and taking off chunks of paint. <laughs> yeah. uh, and two is the, the rigging usually holds the mass in place pretty well. And so you, with that, though, you can do cool stuff like this. All right, so I get to move three more inches, so I can definitely get up to you. I'm going to try to, with my Manos Pikeros, I'm going to try to grapple your third deck here. So the quarter deck. Okay. I need a five. All right. A nine. We're grappled, so you can move it close as much as you want. Here, let me save that. <laughs> and I'm going to push the charge just to have some fun. Mm -hmm. Now we're to the casualties pile up. So that unit now has one port. It has one fatigue. What's that two fatigue is from the guy? So there's a guy in the oh. gun deck that you shot recently. Oh, yeah. So my ruthless would not be fatigued because you don't need fatigue at all, right? Not on that deck, no. But you have two units, including your commander on there, is that right? I no, no. no. This is the master gunner okay. and the um uh pressman. Pressman. Alright, so Marinoth Picaros get to use their lances. Ooh! <laughs> Let's hit on five out of ten of them. Alright. Let's see how many misses I can get. Three misses, so seven hits. Seven hits. Okay. Me, uh, I think all my guys are saving on, I think they're saving on sevens and eights. Which the lances are going to make a little worse. Yeah, press men do not like combat. Press men don't like anything. <laughs> Except saving? Except saving. <laughs> um, uh, let's do, let's do four hits on the near worthless press men. <clears throat> so, 
saving a nine because of Lance's. Oh my goodness. Might as well not be in cover. Hey, you got two tens. Whoa, two tens. <laughs> two pressed men die this day. One, two. Make sure none of them is a character. And then, um, four days fatigue. Uh, on sevens. So, three you fatigue. You got this one. What? I lost two men. I lost two men. Oh, why am I rolling four? You want me to, I'm just going to re-roll the whole thing. Okay. They need sevens anyways, so. You got seven. Seven and ten. One fatigue. So, one fatigue. They will stay put, apparently. I'm putting the press men below, and I'll do the other guys up top. So, now it's going to be three on... Eight. Set eight. Gone the Marins. Six, six, four. Three Marins die. One, two, three. Maybe I was just psychic and knowing I would have to roll four result. <laughs> so these guys. Ninety-five. Um, they're gonna flee. Uh. They cannot flee in this direction, so they will flee in this direction. Can we fit? Sure. They cannot fit. So they take another what? They take fatigue. another fatigue. Yeah, they take fatigue. So I'm going to look here. Now, what are you going to do? Just destroy me? <laughs> So my commander, I'm going to activate my commander because because this is what you do when you're boarded and you it's a, if it's the first card of the turn, you activate your commander to hit back. A bunch. <laughs> yeah. So, but what he's going to do... you stay engaged with me so I can't take any defensive attacks. No, no, because you... Because the, the pressman and the <laughs> press marines man. stayed there. So um, to start with... Uh, the commander is going to use his um, standard bearer to rally the uh, marines. Yeah, four fatigue. Yep, four fatigue, looking for five. So two would be successful, but he's inspiring. So all but one come off. So one. Then he is going to... Um, They fit back there? Yeah, no, then I got two units here. Uh, he's going to tell the... I think I have... I have six pressmen, five pressmen. Six. So, one, two, three, four, five. I have five pressmen on that deck. Um, he's going to tell the five pressmen to fight. For his first command point. Seven? Sevens. So two hits on seven, right? Uh -huh. I save neither. And I take three fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> so I have four fatigue and I jump back to my own deck now. Alright. Well, that was bad. Um. And the pressman cannot follow. Well, no, nobody's on there. Nobody's up there right now, other than your guys. So the pressman could follow. <laughs> yep. Here's the. Here's the sun neck. Pressmen are following. <laughs> this is much more exciting than punching around in the storm. Now uh, you charge these guys, so these guys are no longer assigned to the cannons, because you you unassign when you get charged. Is that okay? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the new rules. Okay. When you, when if you have if you're assigned, you get unassigned by being charged because you don't care about rowing or manning or cannons <laughs> if somebody has a sword at your neck. Uh, so they're unassigned. I'm going to use my second command point to rally. I'm not rally to um, uh, tell these guys to get off of.
Oh, and then there w that unit's action is going to be to rally. So looking for fives, inspiring. So both of these fatigue are going to come off. Now it's a desperate struggle. Five of hearts. Seven of hearts. Uh -oh. So. Um, I'm going to activate uh, this Master Gunner group. Um, the Master the Master Gunner can tell anybody to do. No, he can tell them. He's going to tell them to do something because they haven't had an action yet. So this can is now only have five reload on them. Uh, but then I did that because I'm going to charge it. So I counted, it was, didn't I say nine? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And guys. It's gonna be the end of my heroes for sure. He's already shaking, so I wanna say that now. Uh, hitting on fours, because of our chargers and the marines. So one, lots of misses. Two, three, Four, five, six. And I save one of them. So I take five. And let's see how many resolves I take. I'm going to take three more. So I start at that ten. I just lost five plus two. So they're all eliminated because I have double the fatigue. All right. That's Putting my master gunner over here to represent. So now you have two units in the front of my ship. Yes. And I have one unit who's not really there. So I'm gonna yeah. there. I'd have to take a move action to get down there. Yes. Uh, and that is their thing. So now it's you get your five of hearts. Yep. All right. Counterattacking of our own. I'll activate my command group. Mm -hmm. They're going to send this unit. They're all scrambled up. And it's a unit of six models. And they didn't take any casualties. Yeah, they're not. With the Sailor Master. All right. Chubby guy. Six. And you have one of your guys has he or no? That's me. Um, your press one, hand. one, yeah. Both units actually have one. Thing. Okay. So six men hitting on fours. All right. Uh, all hits. So three hits each. This is going to be on the uh, press men, saving on um, eights. Eight seven five. So two first men die. One two. Three dice for resolve on the press men. Looking for sevens. So one fatigue. And then the Marines, looking for uh, sevens. Two die. One, two. Three dice on five. No fatigue. Right. I 
stay strong. Yeah, Marine strong. <laughs> and then I cannot get my command group over there because they're all my guns are on the low deck. So we have to get off the guns, move them over deck, get to this deck, and go to that. Too much short actions. So they're gonna command second command point is gonna be rally. Um, rally the gun. Rally deck. the gun crew below deck. We have four and nine, and I reroll for this. So it's up one fifteen. And then for their two actions, they're going to get off the cannons and come above deck. Okay. Four hearts. Go ahead. All right, my cannon crew just rallied. They're going to get off the guns and charge upstairs. Okay. <laughs> There's one, two, three, five, six, seven of them up. They're going to get. Mm, Ruthless because they have two. Great. Sitting on four. Ooh, a lot of marinara sitting on four. Yeah. I roll four ones and three hits. Three hits. Okay. Uh, this is going to be on the press men. Sitting on at eight. So one death. Sevens. They won't break. These guys. <laughs> these guys. Press men of iron. Let me count and make sure I have more than two left. I have him over there. One, two, three. I have three guys left in that unit. And then this one dice is going to be like grins on sevens. Nope. And then uh, fives. And then they will take the fatigue off for tough. All right. So I have seven guys there and six guys there. Okay. All with no fatigue. Um, the press men are going to activate on the diamond. Reducing their to only one action. Um, before they attack, they're going to rally because they haven't been given a command point yet this game. They will build a tiger. Oh no, they didn't. They didn't get a command point. They attacked. So because they, that was to be far. So uh, what they're going to do is uh, attack. So three on seven. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> Looking for we'll seven. On the unit of seven that came from the little deck, I get a ten. They have a five resolve, and I get a nine. All right. And then they are tough, so mm -hmm. this goes down the way. Is there anyone on that deck? Not right now. They're no. both on my deck. Right? They're both on your deck. Which hurts. I kind of want one of those guys to die, so I can move somebody over there because I can't move them over there. I have a nasty surprise for you, I think. Three of Adams. Go ahead. So this unit actually got down below and got assigned to its cannons. Yeah. So we can shoot its cannons at your back deck. All right. Hitting on twos? Hitting on... Yeah. One, five, six. All right. Two cannons hitting on... Fives. On, uh, five, yeah, fives. One lucky hit, four hits. Okay. Those guys are, guys are saving on sixes. Uh, two saves, two casualties. One fatigue. And my lucky hit for your hole is... A two, which is a zero. Well, one, which is nothing. That's far. Right. And then they're going to abandon their guns. <laughs> <laughs> so they have four reloads. And they have Master Gunner. They might as well reload their cannons for one. So they have three reloads. Okay, before they...
So uh, there is no one on this deck right now, right? Correct. Okay. So uh, these guys right here are going to try grappling. One, two, your mid deck. On a three, on a four. Second action to grapple. Third action to grapple. Two, two, one. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Just never mind. Goodness. So this unit that charged in actually hasn't activated. It was a commander thing. So they're going to fight. All right. So they're going to fight hit on three because it's dedicated and then ruthless. How many yards now are there? There are six. Seven? Six of them. Okay. Oh, I thought I killed him. Oh, no, you saved. Yeah, I hit on threes. One fail, so five hits. Get off my deck. First man. Uh, first men are going to save on one, take two casualties, and all you can start. I'm actually kind of happy about that. <laughs> they make room for somebody else to serve you. <laughs> yeah. And then Marines are going to save on sevens. still engaged. So I'm going to have the uh, pressmen that are in this deck move here and jump over. So let me, let me put them on here so I can verify how many there are. Nine press men are charging over, so one action, one action to move here, one action to charge. Hit on sevens. One, one hit. Ah. <laughs> I'll take it on a group of six that was below deck.
command unit, the carpenter tell the command unit to do a repair. They roll a nine and get rid of that. And now everyone is above deck. All right. Everyone is <laughs> at this deck. There's two groups on there, two groups. Uh, one group on there, a big group, and two groups on there. All right. That's me. Okay. Um, Actually, I guess I can move your bed all the way up to here. Oh. My uh, four gunners are going to unassign, move here, and then move here. All right, end of turn. What was that, five? That's five. That, is, that was the end of turn five, yeah. Um, we now... Uh, I have... Do you have a strike point for casualties yet? I believe I do. My strike point fish hold is 14. Four, five, nine... Exactly 14. Okay, I am at... I'm at 20, so I'm a, I'm a strike point from casualties too. There's, uh, that press man unit. Uh, <laughs> uh, so... We each have one strike point for that. We don't have um, any for the objectives because you got rid of your sails and spar damage at the last moment. Yep. And so now... We will see if the game continues or if we call it quits from the storm. Yeah. Well, we'll also... Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and uh, I'll roll this time since you rolled the last time. For the game, for the turn to start, I need to roll a six or above. Okay. 50%. Game ends. Game ends. So, at this point, uh, we even up, so the game ends, the storm has gotten so bad now that we... We are falling overboard and it's just too slippery. And <laughs> well, well, we just went to the stage three storm, so it's now, it's now a driving range, range attacks are impossible. Um, That's why I went on the board so we can at least continue to fight. Yeah, that. yeah, the, and... But the game has ended because of the random game game wall. So now we see uh, using the using the firelock method of determining who wins. We count points, which I'm probably going to lose because I lost four four point units. You lost two point units. Yes. If we were going by my house rule of you count the number of dead, then you would win right now. We'll sweep that. Let's do that. <laughs> Fifty two points. Fifty two points. Let me see. The only way you killed was press man. Yeah, I know. It's like, what, 48 points or something? 46? So I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4. Not even that. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 30. points. Any um, characters in there? Oh, yeah, there's so 53 points. 52. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I think I had no characters in this group. That was 10 plus 3, yeah, 52. I had one point. Wow. wow. Good game. Yeah, good game. <laughs> that Very was chaotic good. with the weather. Yeah. Uh, random in the turn. I, uh, lightning didn't strike, though. Did not. Ah, um, <laughs> wow, though, what a what a game. I don't think I've ever played a game like that. It really felt like, though, like, uh, so let's do some post-game analysis. Uh, this felt like you don't see any rain on the battlefield, and we didn't, like, make any storm clouds, but uh, this game felt like there was a storm going on. Like, it was messy. It, every, I felt it every turn. It kind of helped me having that plus... Uh, that hard win helped me actually get going again. I yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I did like the derecho. Uh, we got to choose what happened a lot. Five times. Drew, Somebody was... A lot of nines. Yeah, lots of nines and tens. And uh, that was kind of exciting because it made it so 
we got to, con- it felt like we were controlling the weather a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, I want the wind to come from this way. <laughs> it, fe- it felt nice uh, being able to look ahead to know what was going to happen. That's why I uh, dropped my sail sitting so much uh, leading mm-hmm. into that turn, because I knew we were going to be at plus two. Because you got to choose twice. <laughs> yeah, that was entertaining. Um, shoals happened again, but this is my most successful uh, get off and get going again. It only took me one and a half turns. Yeah. And then I was, thanks to the uh, strong wind, back in the game. Yeah. And meanwhile, you were trying to control your sails, so you weren't able, and you had to go around that shoal to. So well, I had to go around it, and uh, because of the rain the and reloads were so intense. Yeah, yeah, my I had so many reloads on there. Um, five reloads versus four reloads is a huge yeah. difference. And with like, no expert artillery or minimal expert artillery. Yeah, just on the gun. Bit, on you weren't reloading mm-hmm. very fast. Yeah, so it was uh, it was not good for me. Um, and that's why what I mean when I said like I felt the the weather because I have so many exposed guns that were yeah. in reload markers. Your gun decks were. Best thing about my force. <laughs> I know you had got, like you didn't get the uh, yeah, improved save see. on them at all. Right, get those more arms. Yeah, it felt good going after each other's sails the yeah. whole game too. That rarely happens, but with five fortitude and we were mostly further than twelve inches apart. And the plus one to hit right. too, so the cannon just weren't doing a whole lot. Yeah, getting rough seas at that initial event that kind of like spoiled cannons the whole the but whole game. Was, it fit right into our storm. Uh, yeah. cruising, so. <laughs> yeah. As did the Schultz. Yeah, the, we pretty much got everything, didn't we? <laughs> this felt like like uh, you've seen the the uh, extreme weather where they have the giant swells. This felt like that's why you landed on that is that that swell drops you low enough that you hit the button <laughs> and then you hit it again. <laughs> My ship didn't get too torn up. I know. I got some damage on your hull eventually, but that only that last turn, that surprise volley from the mid deck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't even mark it. I just, I knew you weren't gonna get. It was gonna. It wasn't gonna take my hull to uh, to two, which is what you would have to get to me a strike point. But yeah, but in some cases it's more. Yeah, I used to think it wasn't really worthwhile shooting rigging, but in this case it was because rigging was lower fortitude. When you shoot my rigging, you got around heavily built as well. Yeah. And that stuff all my saving stuff. So. And with the uh, objective um, for the scenario, getting that. Yes. Yeah. That get, getting the uh, sales and spar damage, which we didn't get a lot on there, but I was really hoping that you wouldn't do that last man repair, so I would actually win. Yeah, I have two strikes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since we ran out of fortune really fast. If Carpenter. Mm-hmm. The uh, height issue was weird. Uh, the galleon trying to grapple the front of your ship. That yeah. Uh, distance is just so great. It messed up my first uh, attempt to. I really think what, what we should do is go from the, the the base for all the ships from now on. You know, now that we've seen that, right. uh, if we apply that rule evenly. It's fair. It's fair. And with uh, curved areas like this, um, I it's think. Closer point. I think you want to use the closest point. So you would just go from above. You know, so that thing, ships like the Corvette that can have a rounded hull, you know? So much yeah. Yeah, so so we would go from the highest point, or we could just always do this top rail. Yeah, the top uh, the top trim line. You know, but I think it's just easier to just go from the bottom. I don't know, people comment <laughs> what you think actually makes the most sense. I like the rails too, but then that grappling thing was all weird, I guess. Well, grappling, grappling from the rails, like, you you would measure, but it's coming from above. And if you think about it, they're throwing it out, and then it's dropping down. It might be easier. But yeah. you length on your grappling line, I guess. Yeah. It's fun to get the galleon and the sixth grade on the table at once. Mm-hmm. The shit looks awesome. Also, oh, thanks, man. Thank you. It was, it was a, it is still a work in, in progress. Um... But also remember with the grappling lines, they did, they would throw grapple hooks, but they also had the um, like twelve foot long uh, oh, boarding pikes right. to to pull in the ship close. So, and if you think about it, twelve, uh, it would be fifteen. No, they were fifteen feet long. 
that would be three inches if every inch is five feet. Yeah. So yeah, that would that makes sense that you're using the boarding bikes. Yeah. I can't wait for the the race of black. Um, there's going to be a lot of new options with Race of Black for boarding and uh, tricking out ships. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah, new sailing options, new boarding options, a lot of new fun options for upgrading your ship to sea. One thing I really hope they add is, uh, have you ever heard of heavy grapnels? Mm -hmm. um, so it's in, in history, what they would do when they wanted to grapple another ship is they actually had heavy steel bridges in the front that they would tie back that would slam down on the opponent's ship and make a, make a causeway. So I really want to see them add some of those. Those, uh, um, they're, it's a lot like the uh, the orcs in Lord of the Rings. Or when Siege Towers. And Minas Tirith just <laughs> crushing the masonry. <laughs> I thought same thing. Well, that was a long game. We should end the video here. Yeah. Thanks, we've made it to the end. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this exciting, we didn't even get to turn six. Just barely, yeah, that uh, random game effect is exciting. And mm -hmm. it's kind of cool because it makes you play smart all the way to the end. If you know the game is going to end at a certain turn, you can just push all out at the very end without having to think about consequences. Yeah, yeah. This way, uh, the game can end at turn three, and turn three, the end of turn three is when all of the objectives kick in for being at the high sail setting, right. or uh, having sailors or spar damage, or sheets and shroud damage. So you can... You could say, well, I don't sure care about sure. that. And then somebody rolls a one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, game's over. But uh, uh, Storms are unpredictable. And that's, it's, this was a very chaotic game. And yeah, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I've also never had to sit the wind move that much in a game. Right. Ah. Well, this has been a Blood and Pigment live battle. Uh, make sure you check our... Uh, blog for lots of uh, battle reports and our YouTube channel for uh, faction reviews. We're doing a lot of those lately. We have our new tools of the trade scenario that I need to start doing more of the video work for and uh, this live battle. Check out all the other sea scenarios you put up there too. Yeah, on the blog and, and our, our faction review articles Those are and battle reports. Keep your dice ready and your uh, shoals. Away from your the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs>